guys, Thogden here. Welcome back to a new video. Now today, of course, I'm with Thog Dad. We're going to be doing ranking each Premier League team on their transfer activity. Who did they sell? Who did they buy? Thog Dad, you looking forward to doing this? Yeah, this is quite a hard one to do because yep. ranking the activity in the transfer market, it's not just all about money spent. It's true. Sometimes it's mm. about what you've done, but it's also about what you've not done. And the expenditures and how much you're paying for the players. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, you've got to put it all into account. Correct. And then when you have to literally rank them from 20 to 1, it is hard, isn't it? Because it is. yeah. you don't know if you know Gamabin from the French league is actually gonna be any good. What's the light target today? Don't the go. light target today is three and a half thousand. Oh, oh, that's a big one. But we smashed 4K when we, we lost our. We? We so did. I reckon we'll do it again, guys. Hit the like button for Thog Dad. When Thog Dad says something, you do it. Let's begin with Arsenal, Dad. What are your thoughts on Arsenal's transfer activity? Well, um, good actually, very good. Yeah. I think with Nicolas Pepe, who came in 72 million from Lille. That was a great signing. Yeah. He, I think what Arsenal are trying to do here is with Pepe, Abama, Yang, Lacazette, yep. they're trying to create a front three to, mm. to, to rival the, the sort of the Salah, Mane, Firmino at Liverpool. They've signed six players this season. Yeah. Right? Um, all of them are going to be significant and important in their upcoming season, right? Mostly, you know, the most effective players will be the Pepe's, the Kieran Tierney's and the David Luiz's. I think, the, especially the David Luiz one, you've taken away from another top six club and you've put it into your own team. Yes. So that benefits and also puts a negative on another team, which is great business. They've also made some money off players like Alex Awobi, yeah. who just didn't seem to be able to hit his full potential at Arsenal. So they're selling the players that don't look like they could do that well for Arsenal and buying quality like Pepe. I think what they've done, especially on deadline day, even, even the last day, they've been very impressive with their transfer business. I'm going to put it out right now and put them first place. Wow. I think Arsenal have signalled serious intent. I put them third. Okay. Okay. Third place, first place, similar. Aston Villa. Mm. Now, <laughs> there's a lot. Of, we're doing a lot of the, yeah. the, the teams that have a lot of talk around them at the beginning of this video. Aston Villa are a team that have signed a completely new team. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They've been compared to Fulham, bought a whole new team and spent 150 million. Aston Villa have done the exact same thing. Now the difference is, I've already pointed out that a lot of the players they bought were around the team, like El Ghazi, like Tyrone yeah. Mings. Yeah. Um, there's a few others as well. Yeah. They also made some new signings. I think Trezor Gay was one of them. Wesley was another. I think the money they spent will be the reason they survived. Therefore, I think they've done good transfer activity and they're one of the only teams that are let off for spending more than they sell because they had the money from the playoff final. Therefore, Aston Villa, I've got them sixth place. You might hate to hear this, but the yeah. Premier League is all about money. Yeah, it is, yeah. It's all about spending money on transfers and more importantly, further down the line, on your wage bill. Yeah. Aston Villa, the owners have understood the reality of the Premier League. Yeah. Aston Villa have taken a massive gamble. They've spent 134 million and I've put them four. Cool, okay. Let's talk about Bournemouth's transfer activity. Now, they signed Lloyd Kelly from Bristol City, uh, Jack Stacey from Luton Town. Yeah. Um, they sold Tyrone Mings for 20 million, they so they were, they were buying and yeah. selling. They've brought in some youth. They're kind of just mid-table. They are like 11th out of 20 teams. Yes. Absolutely. As I said in the last video, they spent on young emerging talent. And that's good to see. Um, billing central midfielder went 15 million from Huddersfield, yeah. went straight into the, the first team. 11. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, so that's good business. You're spending 15 million on someone who goes straight into the Premiership, mm. straight to the starting 11, and I think sixth place. Sixth place. Wow, that's quite high up to be fair. Yeah. I didn't yeah. expect that. Brighton. And you actually dug into them in the last video yeah. saying they've only signed championship players. Dad, what do you have to say? Well, I tell you what, Maupai, centre forward from Brentford, what, 20 million? Yeah. Yeah. Came on as a sub 13 minutes later, bang, he gets his first Premier League yeah. goal. Tell you what, Bright, uh, Watford nil, Brighton 3, did, yeah, anyone, did anyone see that coming? You clearly didn't when you dug into them about their transfer window. You see, I think they've shown intent. They've spent, like again, on sort of lower league players, they spent mm. good money. Yeah. My question mark will be after 38 games, are these players good enough to keep you in the Premier League? But you know what, I, I show Brighton a lot of respect. Brighton. They've spent money again on young players from the lower leagues. Yeah. My yeah. question is, are they good enough to keep Brighton up? <laughs> Last season, two points above the drop zone. This season, it's going to be very, very hard. Can they survive? Possibly, but I think they won't. But you know what? I, I show Brighton a lot of respect. Oh, <laughs> 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 
But in terms of their transfer activity, seventh. Seventh. All right, let's go on to Burnley, Dad. A team that signed Jay Rodriguez, who obviously scored 20-plus goals last season. Danny Drinkwater on deadline day or very late on in the transfer window. Uh, Peacock Farrell from Leeds. You know, they yeah. also sold Heaton, which I think was a mistake. Yeah. I think Heaton is a really good keeper. So, I, I don't know with Burnley. I, I, I'm not too pleased with what they've done. Uh, I'm putting them 16th. I tell you what, beating Southampton 3-0 first day of the season. That is true. Brilliant. Yeah. Well done, Burnley. I'm still worried about their survival. Because mm. I just don't know if that squad is, a, is good enough. In terms of transfer activity, there almost was none. Yeah. So I put Burnley 17th. Okay, here's a big one, Dad. Chelsea. Transfer <laughs> ban. Yeah. Signed one player, yeah. Kovacic, which was pre-agreed. Yes. What do you think about their transfer? I, I mean, I'm going to be straight up. Like, It's yeah. very difficult to review this one. It is. Because they weren't allowed to sign players. Correct. And obviously, we're going to talk about the 100 million deal Eden Hazard to Real Madrid. That is a kick up the arse. Yeah. And therefore, I'm yeah. sorry, Chelsea fans. You, you might not want to take this seriously because you've got the transfer ban, but you're going to have to come 20th. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry. Eden Hazard, one of the world's best players. Yeah. You've got 90 million for him. Yeah. But that shows no intent. Um, I can only put you 20th. And there we go, we agree. This was, you know, yep. there was just, you've also brought in Frank Lampard, a legend of Chelsea, a legend of England, but will he make it as a manager? I'm not sure that's a good transfer. Yeah, the transfer of the manager, that's something that you don't always talk about with activity, do you? Yeah. We'll find out soon if whether that's good. But let's move on to Crystal Palace in the meantime. Now, I feel bad for Crystal Palace. They lost an absolute starlet in Wamba Saka yeah. for 50 million. I think that's quite good business. They made 50 million. However, they did not reinvest it correctly. Yes. They, they, saw, they, bought De they bought Deadwood. They signed old players like Gary Cahill and, and McCarthy, who's, <laughs> hey, you know, don't, average. Don't All disrespect right. Bol okay. Bolton's Gary I Cahill. I don't want to disrespect. We had the prime Gary Cahill, Dad. Yeah, yeah. The moment we sold him to Chelsea was like his, his best years. He's 33, He's, isn't he's he? now 33, yeah, okay? Yeah. I'm sorry. In this video, we have to talk about, you know, Bournemouth bringing young talent. Sheffield yeah. United bringing young talent uh, from the Championship. And the same with Brighton. However, yeah. Crystal Palace have had the money and they have not spent it correctly. Yes. I apologise, but you're 18th. Yeah, exactly. Jordan Ayew, very cheap for a sort of established strike. And what we should point out is Zaha staying. Okay, that's good, but I, that isn't transfer activity. It, it, when you it is and it. it isn't, because yeah. he could have gone. That is true. But you know what? Good money in the bank does not mean points. And it especially doesn't mean points when you don't invest it well enough, and yeah. they didn't, which is why I've got them 18th. And I'd put them 16th. Everton, wow. <laughs> a team that have spent a lot. They've actually sold a lot as well. Yeah. I was going to have a go at them and be like, they've spent all this money and they haven't sold, but they actually have sold. They sold McCarthy, Gay, Vlasic, and Lukman. I know. All for, you know, yes. decent money. I yes. think the money they spent on, on you know, Players like Moise Cairn, Gamabin, Del, yeah. Gomez, Sidibe, Alex Iwobi, great signings to be fair. If there's one season they can push for this European football seventh place, it's this year with those signings. Yeah, which, which raises the question, Everton, could you have shown more ambition in the transfer market? Dad, they, they, this year? they showed a lot of ambition, personally. I think they yeah. spent a lot on yeah. some big players. Right, my, my worry, okay, you've brought in Moise Keen, centre forward from Juventus, 25 yep. million. Okay. Really exciting, but he's only 19 years old. He's only ever played, I think, 17 But Dad, games. how can you have a go at a team investing in the youth? I, I'm not. But who will be the main striker for Everton? Who will score 20 goals this season? Moise Ken. He won't. For me, Dad, I put Everton third. Yeah. Because they sold and they reinvested in the youth, and I appreciate that. Yeah. I put Everton fifth. Okay. So but I think for a team who, who realistically could be top six, yep. you could have done a little bit more. Leicester City. Um, they signed Ayose Perez from, from Newcastle for 30 million. Uh, James Justin from Luton Town. But my favourite, Yuri Tielemont for 35 mil yeah. from Monaco. Now, Dad, yeah. I just want to speak about Leicester City. I think yeah. they had one of the best transfer activity windows because what they did is they sold Harry Maguire, the centre-back, for 85, 87 million euros. And that is excellent business. Yeah. They signed a player who's probably worth about 50, 45 for a lot more. And what they did is with that transfer money, they reinvested it with players around their squad. Yeah, I'm quite impressed with what Leicester City did. Therefore, I've got them fourth place. Right, interesting. I think the accountants at Leicester will be very happy. Yeah. Because selling Maguire for 78 million pounds is good, good business. But they've not reinvested in a defender. That's the slight worry. Right, where have you got them? I put them 10th. What? Because That's shocking, I Dan. Think no. Leicester mm -mm. had mm -mm. to spend more money. That brings us on to Liverpool. 
Uh, now, Liverpool are a team that just won the Champions League and their biggest signing was uh, Harvey Elliott from Fulham. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm kidding, it was actually yeah. Sepp van der Berg from Zwolle. <laughs> yeah. No, but on a real note, they haven't, they've signed three players. Like, well, Adrian is the other one of them three. And, to, oh look, I like their system, I like their idea of keeping the core of the squad, a team that won the Champions League. Basically, Klopp saying to them, I believe in you. I don't need to buy anyone else, I believe in you. And no one else in the Premier League has done that. So I think it's impressive. However, this video is about transfer activity. Yeah. Therefore, I cannot comment. I'm going to have to put them 19th place. Because, Dad, how can I be nice to them if... It's a reality of football yeah. that players get older mm. and that players get injured, right? And, it, and now, Liverpool just won the Champions League and respect, massive, massive oh, respect yeah, well to done. Liverpool for what you did. But how often does a team win the Champions League and not spend money and not reinvest and say next year we're going to win it again and we're going mm. to be even better. It is true. This year Liverpool are still wonderful but they're not better than last season. This video is about transfer activity which is why I've got it 19th. Where have you got it? I have put Liverpool 18th. Manchester City. They signed Rodri for 62 million. He's looked pretty good. Angelino, who's not really kicked on like he would have liked to, but yeah. we'll probably see more of him in the future. And Jao Concelo for 60 million. Yeah. And he's on their bench in the first week. Yeah. Mental. Literally got 50 mil players all around their bench. I put them seventh. And they got rid of some older and fringe players like yeah. uh, Danilo Delph company. Mm. I can't criticize Man City at all for this transfer window. Yeah, you can't. I can't. I can't think. So where you got them? I can't think what should they have done or what shouldn't they have done? Yeah. Because they are, for me, they are the best team in the world. Mm. And this year, they will win the Premiership, they will win the Champions League, and they will win a cup. They will win a treble this year. Now, that's a big Mark statement. my words. That is a big statement. Right? And the proper treble. I don't think City could do any more, and that's why I've said first place. You got the first? Yes. You got the first? I've got them first. Dad, wow, first. I did not expect that. And I've they only made why. like two signings, big ones. Yeah. There are two teams in this league whose transfer activity I can't criticise in any way. One of them is Man City, the other one is in second place. There is one criticism, Dad, yeah, apart from you being a Man City fan, <laughs> is that their owners are their sponsors, Etihad, and it's not fair on the other Premier League clubs that they can just splash the cash on whoever they want and have an unlimited transfer budget. Right, If look, listen, if the Qataris had bought Bolton Wanderers instead of Man City, we would not be complaining. Yeah. But they didn't, so we're complaining. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Manchester United. Where you got them? Manchester United. All right, well, this is a very interesting one because Harry Maguire, Juan Bissaka, um, they spent £128 million on those two. Yeah, bloody yeah. So hell. They've overspent, but do you know what? They've got two but very, Dad, very good defenders there. You were talking about the lack of depth in the midfield of Liverpool. I'd talk about the lack of depth in the midfield of Manchester United. Yeah. They got the Lukaku money. I think they overspent on Harry Maguire, personally. And I think what they should have done is instead of spending that much on a centre-back, they should have spent half of that on a centre-back, some of it on a midfielder, and yeah. someone to replace Lukaku, for God's sake. Yeah. But you've not done enough. You've not quite shown enough ambition. And I put this transfer window eighth. I put them 12th, because yeah. I think they took an hour and overspent on Harry Maguire. Newcastle. A team that sold Iose Paris 30 mil and sold off some Deadwood and actually sold Rondon, which is quite sad on a free transfer, so they didn't even make any money from him. Yeah. But they signed Jolinton for 40 million, Alan St. Maximal from the French League for 20 million, me, Newcastle, I put them eight. I mean, a lot of Newcastle fans would say, well, wait a minute, we've got rid of Rafa Benitez and brought in Steve Bruce. Now, I said in the last video, don't be too harsh on Steve Bruce, yeah. but a lot of Newcastle fans are thinking that's a downgrade yeah. in the transfer window. But you don't. <laughs> give him a chance, which yeah. is different to saying, is that a downgrade? Is an underwhelming transfer window. I put them 15th. Pretty low, Dad. Yeah. Pretty low. Didn't pretty expect that from you. I thought they made two pretty good signings. Dad, they spent Newcastle 60 fans. million on two players and you Comment put them 15th. Below. How can you rank? No, you're a Muppet, Dad. How can you you're rank Newcastle's transfer activity 8th? Dad, it's not, it's, not like put them, it's not like I put them top 6, top 7, Dad. And I put them 8th which is not that far from mid-table. And to be honest, Dad, they spent 60 million on two players and you put them 15th. That was too low, Thog. Theo is deluded. Norwich. Norwich are next. They're a team that haven't done much transfer activity. They kept the core of the squad. I like what they're doing, but this video is about transfer activity, Dad. Yeah. And they haven't done much of that. And even Farman, they're signing that a lot of people gassed up, didn't even, he's not even their keeper for yeah. their first game week. Yeah. So I'm sorry, Norwich, but you're 17th place for me. I tell you what, a comment on Norwich. So we watched the, the Liverpool Norwich game. Yeah, we did. They looked good. And there were some positives for Norwich. They have a young lad called Cantwell, the number 14, Ooh. 
who has got a very, very good future. It sounds like a Premier League prediction, it's not a transfer activity. Norwich are in serious danger of going down, Oof. and they didn't do anything. I have got Norwich 19th. Ah, so that's the team you had in 19th. Okay, fair enough, Dad. But Sheffield United, another team um, tipped to go down. Uh, they drew Bournemouth in the first week. It's actually a very good result for them. I've got to, a mate called Tommy went to their game, very happy with it. A lot of people um, saying they're going to go down because they've only signed championship players. But yeah. I actually think some of the signings like Moussa, uh, Oli McBurney, they're actually good enough to be in the Prem. I put them 14th. They spent, like, I think, 43 million. So they've kind of spent with it. They've spent money, but not, not sort of Aston Villa money. 12th in terms of transfer activity. Southampton, where you got them, Dad? Southampton, a team that signed Che Adams, which I, this is their yeah. highlight signing for me. I think he's really good. Danny Ings for like 20 something yeah. million, that's all right. But yeah. to be honest, they made some good signings, but again, it's another mid table one for me, 13th. I put them 13th. Okay, so we agree, we have to shake on it. It's, I think it's only the second time we've agreed this video, yeah. we agree a lot more. Yeah. Let's move on to Tottenham. Now, I think Tottenham have done great business. I'm going to stick that out there right away. Um, especially on deadline day, La Celso and Ryan Sessegnon on deadline day were cracking, but their best signing was quite early on, and that was Ndombele. Yes. I think I think they spent like 65 million, yeah, they did. Um, but he scored in his debut, he had a really good game. I think Tottenham had one of the best transfer windows. I've got them second place. I think he could have done a bit more. Where well, you got them? Ninth. Wow. And for someone that people call a Spurs fan after your kit reviews, I am shocked by that statement, Dad. All right, fair enough. Yeah. You say ninth. I definitely disagree. But let's move on to Watford. Main signing, Saar from Stade Rene's 27 million. Interesting. Danny Welbeck, Sam Darby, I mentioned. In terms of transfer activity, 14. Watford, I've got you 15th, which is one off Thog Dad, so we're very similar on that one. West Ham Dad, sold on Altovic, who's been giving out all this talk for the last year. Get him out, you know what I mean? Just stop talking with your agent and just get out of the club. Pablo Fornell from Valencia and Haller from the Bundesliga, who yeah. both look very good for their previous squads. Um, and I think they'll do very well in the Premier League for West Ham. Last year they finished 10th and maybe they could even push on to Europa League. Who knows? We'll find out very soon. So for me, I'd put West Ham in a very optimistic fifth place in transfer window. I don't agree. <coughs> wow. Um, Sebastian Haller, very exciting. The West Ham fans are very excited, but I didn't like that tweet he made about, you know, why are we playing against Man City? I came here for the money. And, um, I don't think he said that he came here for the money, but he did say he had the other stuff, yeah. Yeah, and that is, and I don't know if that was a joke, but that is a very disappointing tweet. Mm. They want to push for Europe, and they've just got absolutely battered by Man City. Not good enough. Dad, Man City are just a standout team compared to every single other team in the Premier League, and I'm sorry, you can't really compare off that game. Right, you, cannot, you cannot judge it of Man City in your first game of the season. Four nows. Unproven for me. Yeah. Unproven. Okay. Overall, I put this 11th. Wolverhampton Wanderers, that way you got them. So they've they've confirmed the deals of Jimenez and Dendonka. Yes. Um, they've got Vallejo on loan for Real Madrid. Can't comment much. Don't know enough about him. But what yeah. I can comment is Catrone, um, th 23 million from AC Milan. I think yeah. they overpaid. He's not quick. He's not strong. He hasn't played that much. He's young. I don't think he will be an effective transfer for them. Although they have signed a lot of uh, Portuguese young lads. They've got a, a, a bigger squad depth now. They've spent good money on good players. And yep. like you said, Jimenez, Dendonka, you've got two established first 11 players. They've not lost anyone. Yeah. They've got stability. I can't see what else they should have done. It's yeah. as simple as that. Okay. With Man City and with Wolves, I look at what they've done and say, that's all you needed to do. Okay. Second place. Uh, second place? Wolves. Bloody hell, second I wasn't place. listening. I wasn't listening. Second place, Dad. Well, you're, you're, off your you're off your nut. You're off your nut. When Thogdad talks, you listen. Uh, okay, but you're off your nut, Dad. Okay, you put Wolves second in the Absolutely. chance. Absolutely. So you think they'll be able to retain European football, yeah? Yes. Well, in your Premier League predictions, you put Wolves eighth. And you put they've Everton... Got a, they've got you, a wait, very wait, wait. good chance. No, listen. No. Very good chance. No. <laughs> no, no. In your Premier League predictions, you put Wolves eighth and you put Everton seventh. But you're just... You just said... With a lot of confidence that Wolves will retain European no, football. No, no, well, with the dad, no. What would the dad? I've just caught you out. I've just caught you out. I've just caught you out. No, you didn't. No, I've caught you out, dad. Yeah. You're a mug. And that is a great way to end the video. Can Hashtag Wolves. in the comments. Thog dad is a mug. What's the like target today? Thog the dad. like target today is three and a half thousand. Ooh, oh, that's a big one. But we smashed 4K when we, we lost our... We? We so did. I reckon we'll do it again. Guys, hit the like button for Thog dad. When Thog dad says something... 
you do it. And also, that is a guys, big one. we're on planes, aren't we, tomorrow morning? We're going we back are. to England. Um, we got some, we're going to Bolton Tram here, aren't we? Way. Oh my God. Let's just comment on Bolton. Let's Bol just yeah. comment. Let's have a yeah, shout yeah, out. Shout Let's out, have a picture out. of the Bolton Academy players. Legends. Legends. Every one of you is a hero of Bolton who drew nil nil with Coventry. It might Honestly, not sound yeah. much, but I have so much respect for those young lads and massive respect for Coventry too. And I just want to give a quick shout out to Lucas Brown, my mate, my pal, the Chelsea fan, who actually gave me this idea to make this video. Thogged an army growing every day, thogged dad army growing every day. <laughs> We've got to add that now. Yeah, yeah. See you all later. Yeah. Good luck in the fancy Premier League. I had an average week to start off with. You did okay oh, as well. Oh, I made such a mistake. No sterling. What was I thinking? Maybe we'll do a video on our fancy Premier League. Maybe a weekly thing. I don't know. We'll see. See you guys yeah. in the comments with the suggestions and we'll see you all later. Bye guys.